This is the solution to written homework 65. Okay, so in both orders. So we'll do uh, the dx dy order. So I'll do that first, dx dy. So the iterated integral uh, has the y's on the outside. So 0 to 4, uh, 2 to 6, and 6x six squared y plus 3xy squared minus 2x and dx dy. <coughs> So anti-differentiating with respect to x, <coughs> that gives, uh, that goes to x cubed over 3, uh, so 2x cubed y, x cubed y, and then <coughs> anti-differentiating that, that would be 3 halves x squared y squared, and then minus x squared. <coughs> this is evaluated from x is 2 to x is 6. Okay. So at 6, plugging in x is 6, 2 times uh, 6 cubed is 432. So 432y plus plugging in x is 6, so 3 halves times 6 squared is 54y <coughs> squared. And then minus, plugging in x is 6, that's 36. Minus now all that, plugging in 2. <coughs> so 2 cubed is 8 times 2 is 16. So 16y plus uh, 4 times 3 halves. So 4 times 3 is 12 over 2 is 6. So 6y squared and then minus 4. <coughs> dy. Simplifying this, so let's collect all the y squareds together. So there's 54 minus 6, so that's 48 y squared. <coughs> now let's collect all the y's. So 432 minus 16 416, and now let's collect the units together, so negative 36 minus negative 4 is negative 32. Okay, so now we're done with all the x's. <coughs> okay, so then <coughs> uh, with for the y's, antiderivative uh, of this term, that would be 16y cubed, y antiderivative of that term, so half of 416 is 208, so plus 208y squared minus 32y, evaluated from 0 to 4. It's nice that one of the limits is 0, because that makes it really easy. <coughs> so 16 times 4 cubed, oops, 16 times 4 cubed, 1024, plus 208 times 4 squared, 3328, minus 32 times 4, oops, uh, so 32 times 4 
128. And then minus 0, all that stuff is 0. So let's check that real quick. Okay, good. So adding those together. Four four two four. Okay. That's if we do it in uh, in order d x d y. If we do it in the other order. dy dx, so that x is the outer uh, integral, the result would be, so integral with x is on the outside, so from 2 to 6, y is on the inside, 0 to 4, and then that same thing, 6x squared y plus 3xy squared minus 2x and y's are in the inside, so dy dx. So that is integral 2 to 6. And then now the y antiderivative of that. So that would be 3. Uh, let's write that in square brackets. So that would be 3 x squared y squared. The first term, for the next term, that would be plus x y cubed minus 2 x y. Okay, and now this is being evaluated from y is 0 to y is 4. It's nice that, again, that one of the limits is 0. So if we plug in y is 4, that is uh, 4 squared is 16 times 3 is 48. So 48 x squared. And then now plugging in y is 4 again, that would be plus 64 x and then minus plugging in y is 4 8x and then minus all that evaluated at y is 0 which is 0 dx so integral 2 to 6 and simplifying a little bit that would be 48x squared uh, plus 56x dx. Okay, so now we're finished with all the y's. Again, invoking the fundamental theorem, this would be 16x cubed uh, plus half of that is 28, so 28 x squared, and now this is evaluated from 2 to 6. Okay, so 16 times 6 cubed is 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 28 times 6 squared is 1, 0, 0, 8 minus 16 times 2 cubed 1, 2, 8 plus 2, 8 times 2 squared 1, 1, 2 so plugging that all of that into the calculator uh, we get what? so 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 1, 0, 0, 8 minus 1, 2, 8, minus 1, 1, 2, is uh, 4, 2, 2, 4.
Oh, wait a second. So I need to double check my answer because somehow uh, I got something wrong there. So let's double check this. Maybe I typed that in wrong. 1024 plus 3328 minus 128. Ah. So when I typed this in, I, the first time I either typed it wrong or read it wrong, this needs to be 4224. Two, two, four. So these answers are the same. 